Hey, I'm Tom Knoll, and we're gonna cook some world championship chili today. I don't know if you knew that chili is the state dish of Texas. It's not barbecue, it's not gumbo, it's chili. And it was created on a chuck wagon on a cattle drive. And what we've done is been able to go to Fiesta and pick up seven, eight different spices, everything in the produce section or in the spice section. We got great beef from Fiesta. We cut it up sugar cube size. We're doing a recipe with about two pounds of lean, 85% lean beef. Added some onions to them, sauteed in there. And then you got a little beef, little beef broth in there from the meat in itself. It's gonna be a good tender, but not so tender that it falls apart when you cook it. You know, if you use too tender of a cut, it's gonna fall apart and it'll be mushy. You gotta have a little bit of fat too. We use 85% lean, so we get a little bit of that fat. If not, when that chili's finished, it's gonna be grainy like it has sand in it. Well, we started, we browned this, and now we're gonna add some ancho pepper. But we've got a half a cup of ancho pepper that we're gonna put in. Mix that in real, real good, because that's where you, that's why they call it chili because it's ancho is a chili pepper. So after that, we're gonna add some good fresh garlic, about a tablespoon. Oh, I like garlic a lot, so we're gonna add a little more tablespoon, than a tablespoon to that. We're gonna mix that in. Salt, we're just gonna add salt for flavor. You make up your mind how, how salt do you want. Continue, it'll get a, start to get a little dry now, so we're gonna add a, some moisture into it. We're gonna add some tomato sauce. Eight ounces of tomato sauce would usually be just about the right amount for two pounds of ground meat, which would be number three grind. And that'd be about the size of your little finger. That'd be good, or sugar cube size. Now right, we're gonna add some paprika. About a tablespoon of paprika. Paprika is also a pepper. I don't know if you knew that, but we use it mainly to add color. We want this chili to be a bowl of red. Let's continue to mix that up. Now we're gonna add some heat. We're gonna make this pretty warm. We're gonna make this about four alarm. You need a doctor's prescription for four alarm. Gonna get a good consistency. We don't want this to be too thick, but we wanna be able to stand a spoon up in a bowl when it's finished. Now we're gonna add some beef broth. More liquid, but you know, in California, they'd use a lot more tomato sauce than that, but we're in Texas, and we want, we want this to be a Texas bowl of red. Mmm, some cumin. A lot of people like that cumin. All these flavors will blend together, but you can also detect what you got in there, particularly that pepper. We're gonna end it with some fresh jalapeno. This is in the produce section. We dice this up, produce section at Fiesta. Give it a little green coloring to it. So we got a bowl of red with a little green in there, starting to really get some color, really get some good flavor to it. And the last thing we'd add to our chili would be masa. Masa is a corn flour that's used to make tortillas. This will tighten it up a bit. It'll give it some flavor. You can do with cornstarch, but cornstarch doesn't have that flavor that masa harina does. And it'll absorb a little bit of the grease if you have too much grease. We want it to have some grease, so that just adds to the flavor. We mix this up, and we're gonna cook this for a couple of hours. We want that meat to get real tender. We want that meat to absorb all those flavors in there. So we're ready to go to the stove with this now. Put the lid on it, and we're gonna cook chili. Now that's gonna be world championship chili right there. That's perfect. 